What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Geeks and Company. My name is JS, and today, no fuss, no muss. We're jumping right into it because there's a new Ahsoka trailer that's come out. And I've realized that within my close circle of friends, a lot of people that I know, even Star Wars fans, didn't get into the animated shows, so they don't know a lot of what has happened in this trailer, or they don't understand a lot of what has happened in this trailer. So what I want to do today is we're going to go through the trailer and we're going to go step by step and we're going to break down everything that we've seen or at least everything that I've caught so far uh, to give you guys a little bit of a background on who these characters are and what's going on for those that maybe aren't super familiar with this side of Star Wars. Something's coming. Something dark. It was dope ass shot. Zoink. Boom. I sense it. This is also interesting that they're going with the red Lucasfilm logo. This is a new beginning. Okay. So right off the bat, this here is a loath cat. Uh, Loth cats are known to only come from the planet Lothal. The planet Lothal is the planet where we find Ezra Bridger in the beginning of Star Wars Rebels, who you see here looking at her helmet. That's right, Sabine Wren, again, right from Star Wars Rebels. Some new beginning. So some war. So Sabine, FYI, is a Mandalorian. Um, Sabine is a little bit different than the other Mandos. Um, she's an artistic type. Um, she likes to paint, hence why her armor is so colorful uh, and so full of designs. She also learned to carry the Darksaber. Um, Sabine is the one with the crew of the Ghost, Ezra and, and Kanan and, and all those guys who found the dark saber and brought it back and gave it to Bo-Katan. That's the only reason Bo-Katan knows about the dark saber or, or has had the dark saber in her possession is because of Sabine. Now here, you're going to see more of her, um, but this is Hera, again, the pilot from Star Wars Rebels, in what is the ghost or the shuttle on the back of the ghost. Um, again, taken right out of Star Wars Rebels. Oh, there's Chopper, they're drone. Now, these are two new Sith characters that I am not aware of. Um, Jeff, Jeff has made a good point that there's a character in the Thrawn series of books, um, which I believe were written by Greg Zahn. Um, Jeff is going to correct me in the comments if I got that wrong, but I believe it's Greg Zahn who wrote uh, the trilogy of Zahn books called Heir to, an Emp Heir to the Empire. Ahsoka actually mentions heir to the Empire by name. She calls Thrawn the heir to the Empire in this trailer. You're going to hear that in a couple seconds. This could very well be Saboth. Saboth, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce his name. Uh, Yaris Jaboth or Saboth or anyway. So this could very well be that character. Um, clearly a Sith because you see him later on with his red lightsaber. Um, and this other Sith here, who seems to be his apprentice, which at this point I know nothing of. Power. This right here. Again, we are back on Lothal. This is the tower where Ezra lived. I think Sabine now lives since Ezra's been MIA. Uh, this was his home. This is where they found him. Um, so again, another massive callback to Star Wars Rebels. It's been a while. Things have changed. I started hearing whispers. Here we go. Mon Mothma's back. Um, at this point in the timeline, I feel like she would be very old. Um, this is years after um, the rebellion is over, right? Years after Return of the Jedi, Mon Mothma's character... Her story really starts all the way in Andor, right? So she's pre-Star Wars, pre-original series. That's where her character comes from. 
and she's still here post it all looking exactly the same so maybe this is just a recording who knows and here we go now if that doesn't look like thrawn to you guys i don't know what does you can clearly see his blue skin he's wearing the traditional white thrawn uniform and again ahsoka is gonna name him by name about thrawn's return as heir to the empire and there you go you could see it right there direct callback to the zon books heir to the empire which i feel like maybe what we're getting here is an adaptation of that story mixed in with a continuation of rebels so i think we're trying to please two crowds here the crowds that were into the books which are no longer canon and the crowd that was into star wars rebels this is really going to meet the two together There you go, character that we saw in Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, Ahsoka faces off against her uh, as she's looking for Thrawn. This is the lady who fights her with the Beskar spear that ends up in Mando's hand. We have to prepare for the worst. Shot a mirror there again. The, the ghost Jedi again. Fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. Here we go. This, to me, looks like Ezra. Uh, it looks like Sabine is looking down at a hollow projection of Ezra. And the quote there is, there aren't many left, as in Jedis. There aren't many left. left. Clearly a lot of stuff. it is time to begin again so we finally know ahsoka is coming out in august we don't have an exact date yet but it is streaming in august uh kick-ass trailer if you ask me but this really wasn't about my reaction because i've already watched the trailer like four or five times this morning um but I did want to explain some of the stuff that you were seeing in this trailer. Again, for the people that maybe aren't aware of what is going on here, maybe that didn't watch Rebels, uh, or maybe not super familiar with the character of Ahsoka and a lot of these other characters, for the people that did follow Star Wars Rebels, this is going to be epic. This is, looks like it's a straight continuation to Rebels. Um, I cannot wait to see what Thrawn looks like in live action. I can't wait to see what they do with Ezra. I, this is going to be fantastic. Now, of course, if I've missed anything, let me know below. Uh, and let me know what you thought of this trailer. I'm, I'm sure if you are a Star Wars fan, you've already seen this trailer. But let me know below. Very interested in finding out what you guys think. I think that's going to be it for now. Stay geeky, everybody. We'll see you next time.